Hello gals and gamers, welcome back to another Gary's Mod video. Today we're playing a map called Pine Forest. And uh, it's made by a map creator I cannot say the name of because I don't know how to say it. But uh, they make really damn good maps, I'll tell you that much. And uh, I'll tell you this as well. I'm very hyped to be playing this, actually. Because I, I'm always excited when I play this person's map. So they have a great... Uh, balance between nature and civilization like when they make their maps like they, they just make the best maps like combinations like that so I'm, I'm excited to see this and like I said I, I want to start playing more like nature maps during the spring and summer time you know so here we are and I have to say this looks pretty good already it doesn't even look like gary's mod and i don't mean that as an insult like this is like really damn good looking actually like if i were to do this i probably wouldn't have thought gary's mod like it's just it kind of reminds me of like a drawing like you know the you know the walking dead game it kind of reminds me of that in a way details if that makes any sense but it's still gary's mod you know what i mean like it's it's really nice looking there's just a lot of detail we have these tents we can't i mean we can't enter i guess okay i see these these little tent things in a lot of stalker maps and you can never enter these things and it always bugs me but uh this one you can actually open how nice really cool so we got a lot of stuff to check out here oh there's a muddy sound when we walk on this so it must be raining a lot around here around these pots but let's check this out can we go into this building I want to check this out probably not I mean oh I wasn't actually expecting to be able to go into here. Um, the design outside was just kind of, it reminded me of like the type of building you'd see that's like a building you couldn't enter, but this one you could actually go into. Let's move that bucket. Can we open these too? These things? Because this is where I spawned, wasn't it? Like spawned right here. Okay, so we can actually open these. This is like a garage of some sort. I don't think this is in America though. Because, well, there's some English here. Oh, it's actually the real thing. That's funny. That is, at least. I don't know what these are. Never seen them. That, that's not in English. Just so much detail. One thing I really love about this map creator is that when they make their maps, they always have, like, this sense of, like, it's, like, when you're in an area that's being lived in, it really feels like it's being lived in. It's not like an empty, undetailed room. It feels... I wouldn't say necessarily alive, because there's nothing really in here to... You know... That's like moving or anything, but... It feels like somebody definitely comes here and uses this place. And... It, it feels like, you know... It's a real place. It doesn't feel like just some empty room. I mean, look at this. This is cool. It's super dark here. Can we turn that on? Okay. See, but I actually don't know how to say that. I'm guessing that means, like, power or something. Here, we got this. What is this? Huh? Excuse me? What is this? What if I just, <laughs> I could just open and close it really fast? Okay, we'll stop. So this kitchen right here feels really cool. Because I don't know if you guys have ever actually been in a mechanic shop, but they really do look like this, you know. My, uh, my stepdad actually works at one, and I've been in one a few times, and I can tell you that there is rugs all over the place. <laughs> From my memory. 
not all over the place, but this this does seem like a real thing that would happen, even though it is sideways. But it's probably just trying to cover as much ground as possible. We got a little. Is that counted as an accordion? I don't know. We got a TV here. They probably watch TV. Probably not too often. Maybe on really, really, like, non-busy days, they probably watch a movie. I mean, this does look like it's in the middle of a forest, like I said. So this is a probably, honestly, a very helpful mechanic shop where it's located. But it's also probably not very busy either. I know we can open the fridge into these very detailed RTX ray tracing fridges. Why is the detail so good in this fridge? I've said this before. I think, but th it just looks very detailed inside of that fridge. Like the lighting, and just the detail on the walls, <laughs> it looks like they took real pictures of a fridge, maybe they did. Sorry, I'm looking at the most random stuff and talking about it, but I love this. Reminds me of something that'd be in my grandma's house, Oh, makes me miss my grandma. Both of my grandmas. Oh, whoops. We got this sign up here. I don't know what that says. But that's pretty damn cool. I'm guessing it's like a freeway sign or something. It looks like it's been ran over. It probably fell. One of the mechanics thought, hey, I'm taking this with me, man. They picked it up and they brought it. But you can tell it's probably been run over a few times. Sorry, I'm talking about the most random stuff, but that's just so cool. You don't see that in Gary's mod. We got this. It looks like a... Welding? No. I don't know what that is. Looks like some kind of torch of some sort, though. And we got this, which probably has tools in it. We always assume when we see suitcases, it's got money in it, but this probably has tools and random junk, honestly. I should show this map to my stepdad, actually. I think that... I wonder what he would say about this, like, if it was good. Because he works at a mechanical shop. A mechanical. I think... Well, he has. I think now he's working at, like, a tire shop. I don't know. Same thing, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. We got this little wagon out here. So this is probably the end of the map right here. We can't go out that way, that's okay. It sound, you know what I really like? Is it sounds more muddy the closer you are to the road. Okay, we got two ways we can go. We can go down this way. Or we can go this way. I think I'm going to stay on the main roads for now. Before we start going off the road. Man, this is kind of weird. Somebody steal the bottom of this or something. And they just are like tying it to this. You can't have shit in Detroit, man. Cool plants. Oh no, this one's the same too. So is this just a thing in... You know... Not in America? I wonder what that's for, though. Huh. Oh wow, this is peaceful. Wow. Oh, there's some mushrooms. Hey, Luigi! I just saw the Mario movie recently, too. Pretty good movie. Man, there's a lot in the forest, I can tell. And here, we got a bridge that looks like it goes over the freaking water. Oh, hell yeah. Wow. This water actually, like, moves. Like, it's not just still. Looks like real water. You could try to fish right here, but... I feel like fishing right here would be a weird spot. You'd probably want to go downstream a little bit. That's just relaxing. I'm guessing this just goes out to a lake of some sort. Are 
Are these, oh, these are pines. I was like, what is that? But, no, they're pines. Pine cones. I thought they were like little oopies. Not really. What I like about this map is that the detail doesn't look like a Gary's Mod map. It's uh, very detailed, but it doesn't, you know, have the textures of that indicate that this is a source game, which I really like. That's why I think Gary's Mod is so interesting. It's just a, you know, blank slate of whatever, you know. Some sort of generator. Can't go this way. Yeah. That's fine. That's fine. I guess I'll just I'll just cry. I'm just kidding. Let's go this way though. Finally going off road, and you can tell people were driving through this. Probably pretty fast. Listen to the muddy sounds too. That's so cool. Good thing I got the right boots for this. This is so cool. Just beautiful. These the brown mushrooms. Hey, they are. If you get these mushrooms with the red ones, you can make mushroom stew. Looks like there's something off this way. I just have to look. Oh, there is. Let's check it out. Let's let's look at it. But I want to get a screenshot for the thumbnail somewhere. That'll be good enough. There's just so many places, you know. Nice little home here. I imagine one of the mechanics lives here. A little farm here. We got a little outhouse. Pretty clean, actually. Oh, he doesn't smell good. I'd probably put my outhouse a little bit further away, though. Got a little cabin here. We got one of the furnaces here that they like to use for their maps. I think it's so cool. Like here in America, we don't see things like this very often, you know. These aren't everywhere. So I don't... It's like a wood stove, it looks like, or something. That, like, you could probably cook stuff with and heat up the house with. That's just what I'm assuming. And we got a little radio here. Sorry, I hit it. <laughs> um, I was just trying to get, get it to work. There we go. Is this, the, is this an actual picture of the whole map? Kind of seems like it. Don't. No. Emungus? <laughs> what does this say? I swear I just saw something that said sussy, but that's not even English. Maybe info about the map or something. Nothing out this way. Why does this tree look like it can fall? I just had to see. I jump over that. Yeah, 
Let's get back onto the main road. I think it was up this way. I think this is where I was. I don't know. Matter of fact, I might have looked everywhere already. Let's keep just kind of wandering around here. See if we run into anything. Oh, are we in the forest now? No, I hear water. I mean, that's still, you know, in the forest, but I hear water. I heard it. This is different. We got some wood storage here. Nice. These are some good planks, I'll tell you that much. This is a nice little area to sleep at, I guess. It's kind of a sad spot, but I also feel like it would be kind of nice, too. You sleep here on your busiest days. I'm assuming this right here is like wood that needs to like get chopped. does it I believe oh yeah you roll it across here I imagine never seen anything like this actually I've, I've worked in wood shops before uh, I've never well I've worked in a wood shop not multiple I've seen multiple though but I've never seen anything like this a lot of sawdust built up too But uh, I'm guessing how this works is you grab one of these, put it on here, and you roll it across. You keep pushing it, or it pushes itself, and then this cuts it, chopping it in half. And you just do that until every side is, you know, until it looks like this. And I imagine there's some other tool to get rid of the bark or whatever on it. Unless you just leave the bark on, which would be fine, I suppose. You probably just take it off by hand, depending on... Well, they are pine trees, but the, the bark on pine trees aren't too hard to, like, peel off. But that is, like, some fresh wood. That's some fresh wood right there. Sorry, I know this is kind of random, but I've worked with wood a few times. You see that he chopped down some of these trees here. Left the damn stumps on the ground. That's not always a bad thing, really. They kind of... I think with pine trees, they kind of just die down. And they kind of become part of the dirt. You know. But they... They, uh, they become hollow a lot quicker. Than what I've seen with other trees. Here, we got some more water. You tell people just drive through that? That's so cool. I, 
can't even tell where I am or where I was before. So does this go around this little lake? There was a road that leads here, but stops. I'm guessing this is where the guy cuts down his wood. There's a broken boat. And a dock. Ooh! Cool ass dock. This is a cool, peaceful place right here. Yeah, you can tell someone was just camping here and chilling out. That's really nice. Good place to try to go fishing, I suppose. I, I imagine this water isn't always here, though. Just tell them, by the way, that everything looks. There's, like, cracks and stuff. There's, there's things underwater. I don't know. I just imagine fish don't come to this little area in particular. Like, I imagine the water kind of goes down during certain times of the year. This is a different wood area. Looks like he's just setting his wood here. For now. Nobody's gonna steal it anyways, you know. Just drop it off here, cut down some. Let them dry out a little bit, which I think, you know, my knowing of the wood, they dry out quickly. I've never actually chopped down a whole, like, tree. Well, I mean, I have, but I've never, like, used that wood myself as, uh, you know. I've already worked with wood that has basically just been you know, chopped already. And cut. And I've cut the wood. A little bit. But I've never done it from, you know, a log like this. Is what I'm trying to say. But I've seen... I've seen how it done. A little bit. So I'm guessing the guy who drives here has a big old truck to get through all this mud. I kind of want to get a get the Half-Life 2 car and drive around this map. I think we've been here. Oh, we have. Remember I said I was going to explore this area afterwards. This is the beginning. The beginning. This is an interesting shape for a map. I want to look at something. Okay, I see. Sorry. Let's go this way now. I was just wondering if he moved the border of the world because that's like something I've never seen, but I don't think that's the case for this. We just be running. Maybe that's what this guy does. He actually just runs instead of drives a truck. Here's the, uh, is this the same place? I don't think so. This is another area here. With more sophisticated homes. Hopefully they have bathrooms inside. No, actually, I don't know. It's okay to use an outhouse. Oh, I love this. They have similar homes of this and other maps that they've made, and I always love it. It reminds me of my grandma's place a little bit. Just with all the old flower stuff and how everything looks. The plants everywhere, you know? Old school, um, you know, pots and pans. You always know you're going to get some good bread in a house like this. 
this. They bake the best food, man. Older folks make the they bake the best the the best food. I just turned the light off by accident. We got a little shed here, which is in a weird spot. With this tent here as well. Move it, man! Come on, you can't just live like that. It's a weird place for this shed. You can't even drive into it. You'll just have to drive right here, and then I guess bring it here isn't that bad. This is a, such a cozy home. Oh. And this part burnt down. They burnt down their home, probably baking something. They're like, oh, damn it, now i got to make another house. And so they did. Let's check this out a little bit more, though. Yeah, that's so cool, man. Why does it sound like somebody's driving? Something there. Let's go check it out. There's a lot to this map that I'm hoping I'm not missing. Like, there's just so much. Like, I thought it'd be like a short, just straight line or something, but... Oh, this is a lot. Oh, this is the wood area. Again. We've been here. Such a cool little area. I love the detail. Let's go down this way. Let's bunny hop that way. This way. I actually don't know how to bunny hop. That's as close as I can get. See, there's like multiple roads. Where does this go? Sorry, I'm no clipping a little bit. I think I've been down that way. Then I took a left. So let's go this way. Which doesn't have an area. Oh, here's the little farm. Let's just follow these power lines. Wait, we've been here. I recognize this. So I'm guessing this leads to like every building. We'll do a little no clip around once we loop this just to make sure. We'll probably turn the fog off as well. This goes to this house, I like it. Maybe these are like, if it floods here, this is like to keep it off of the ground. And keep it more steady. That's just my little theory, my little game theory. Here is the wood shop. I don't know why I call it the wood shop, but it's, it's the wood cutting area. Kind of seems like they just end right here. I'm going to start no clipping around. I don't want to miss anything. If I find something, then I'll walk on ground to look at it. I think I'm going to get rid of this fog here so I can see. Alright, that's as far as we can see. Stuff still kind of spawns in, I think. 
This is it. This is such a cool map that has like a nice little rounded like area. This is kind of cool too right here. I didn't see this. I actually, you know what? I think I walked down this. Never mind. When you're actually down there, it feels so much bigger than it is. And I love that. Like this is such a well-designed map that I love. Is there an Amunga somewhere? Is this map just one giant Amoongus? I'm just guessing that because there's one on the... On the flipping map. The flipping map. Huh. This is super cool. If I miss something, I'm sorry. I don't think I did, though. Flying up here. So I think we're good. This is definitely worth my time playing because it's such a cool map. I love how there's points where I just couldn't tell if the like the outside part was a part of the map or not. Um, I'm definitely gonna try to find the skybox if I can. Here it is, right under here. Okay, I was not expecting that. That's kind of trippy. So we cannot walk on this. But there is water here that we cannot see, but we can see in the main area. This is so cool. This is underwater though. It's interesting. Oh, is it because it's like connected to this? Okay, that's so cool. So some of this is underwater underneath this trail here to, uh, you know. So when there's puddles and stuff, they just lower the ground just right to the, where the water hits. So as you can see right here, there's water here. And everywhere it goes down. See? Like over here, there's water. This is the same water that's under here. Will it save me from fall damage? Though? That's the real question. I think it did? Did it actually just save me from fall damage? Is that possible? Is this like a Minecraft thing? I think it did. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's kind of cool. But uh, yeah, this was Pine Forest. I have the fog, you know, on. I can make the fog even more thick, but I don't like doing that with maps because the fog that's already in it is really nice. See, that's really good looking. That's the original fog. There goes my little legs. That's a damn cool map, man. 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10 map. Um, my own, I, I don't really have any complaints. I was going to say my only complaint, but I don't really have any. I can't even think of any. So, honestly, this is just a good map. Um, short little experience. I looked at a lot of stuff and a lot of detail. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said at the beginning, go support the original map creator because I'm simply just playing this map. And this is a very well-made map that I enjoy. So, yeah. But, anyways, if you guys enjoyed what I had to say and what I looked at, Leave a like on the video, subscribe if you want to see more amazing maps like this. But like I said, most importantly, support the original map creator. And uh, that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out, be safe, and goodbye. Thank you guys.